Right then, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for a Honda CRV. It's a 2 litre SET, and it's a automatic version. Um, basically, it's an SE, but the T designates the fact that it has the optional sat nav, which is a really nice feature to find on the car. Cars cover just 63,000 miles, finished in this lovely urban titanium, which looks lovely on the car, especially in the flesh, because the videos and pictures rarely, if ever, do it justice. Uh, lights and lenses are lovely and clear, uh, free of any condensation or cracks. Bonnet, absolutely beautifully clean, no chip marks on that at all. The near side, passenger side, really, really clean in the panels. I think I did see one tiny little indentation. I wanted to try and find it because it's a whole point of doing them, but it is absolutely minor. But just there. I mean, it's, you can hardly see it, but I mean, it literally is minuscule, but the point of the videos is to try and pick up on them where I can. Because um, there will always be little marks that the videos don't find, and I, I do miss, so I, I don't intend to, but they will be there. So come around the back of the car, all very good again. All the painted areas, really, really nice. off of the vehicle, lovely and clean in the panels. It really is in very, very, very good condition, this car. It's finally coming, well, it's not finally, I'm finished yet. Coming to the back, it's really huge in the back. They are massive boots. And this one's been kept very, very well indeed. It's coming to the back of the car, wide opening rear doors, gives you really good access. And you've got the most incredible amount of leg room. Both those seats at the front there, set for me and over six foot tall. So that, that's about as bad as it gets. And they have tons and tons of leg room and it's been kept wonderfully well and um, most CRVs are very heavily used for family use but this one's been got away virtually scot-free coming in on the front passenger side again all very very clean and tidy seat it's been kept wonderfully wonderfully well so finally driver's door card been kept again all very nicely indeed likewise driver's seat Again, in wonderful condition, and that's the one that takes all of the use, generally speaking, of course. Set inside the car now, engine's running through this section of the video so the dash can be seen illuminated. And there you can see the sat nav, which all works absolutely perfectly. Dual zone climate control, but it's been kept really, really, really well in here. Um, go up to the dash binnacle, and in there for you, you can see 63,734 miles. There are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine oil any other bit of the car there um, but it is in say and kept very well finally just to show you owner's manual pack and lock and roll nut key all here and present with the car right then this is a quick road test video and this is for a honda crv and it's a two litre set uh, the T designates the sat nav on these particular models. Uh, this particular car is registered OY63 XAB. And mileage at the start of the road test is 63,665 miles. The reason we do all these videos is really simple. Um, we just want to make sure that if anyone is looking at any of our cars online, they actually get to see the car advertised in operation. Um, we feel it's important mostly because we know to our cost unfortunately just how frustrating it can be to go and see a car which can look perfectly good in the advert only to get there and find out when you drive it it's got a fundamental issue which shows up while you're driving the car so that's why we do it and it's also done on these very quiet country roads uh, close to our premises this actually forms part of the test drive route in one we go on so the reason we do it on this route is so it hopefully would then be representative of what you'd feel yourself should you be offered a test drive in the car. So coming to the car itself, um, engine starts absolutely instantly and settles to completely smooth and even idle. There are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car and temperature gauge is running at a third and the car's been running for quite some time now so it's up to full operating temperature and that's exactly where it's meant to be. The engines are absolutely superb in every single way. They are typical of Honda. They, with just normal, regular servicing, 
they can last for hundreds of thousands of miles and um, they have, are by far and away the most reliable and durable engines in their class um, and that's sort of well known it's also an engine which is just a joyful engine to use day in day out because it's very smooth very quiet but when it does rev it's got a sweet note to it which you, what you always get from Honda and uh, no matter where you are in the rev range it really is a fantastic piece of engineering the engine then feeds through into the auto gearbox um, typical Honda gearbox again as with the engines incredibly tough mechanically um, and it lasts as long as the engines on the hull the they're also really nicely done because obviously the ratios have been selected by Honda to try and extract the, the best in terms of fuel economy and also performance out of the car and it does a lovely job in that respect. Also the gear changes, very very slick indeed as you'd expect again from Honda. Um, notwithstanding reputation however you should still do the usual checks on them and that's to ensure that when you select drive or reverse uh, there are no sort of thunks or clunks in engagement um, and there are none, it's absolutely perfect. So coming to the steering on the car, really very well done on the car. Um, so many SUVs suffer with basically what I call sort of SUV style steering and handling, which means the manufacturers think because it's a big car, tall, upright, well, it's expected to be slightly unwieldy, you know, a little bit sort of clumsy in the way it goes about its business, but nothing could be further from the truth of this car. It drives just like any other Honda car in, in, in essence. Really nice fluid power steering in the way it operates. It, very accurate, very precise, um, beautifully matched to the chassis of the car. So it's, it's not over sharp where it's gonna make it unpleasant for passengers, particularly in the back. Um, tracks absolutely dead straight and there's absolutely no vibrations at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit. The chassis of the car, what I'm looking for on road test, and we're about to go over a horrible bump in a second, not that one. Just gonna wait for a second, it's just coming up now. That one, it's a killer. Um, what I'm looking for is any kind of, you'll hear it hitting the bump, albeit it's relatively subdued, but what I don't want to hear is any kind of secondary noises, any sort of clonking or rattlings coming from underneath, and there are, is nothing at all. The whole car feels incredibly tight, I have to say. Um, the chassis also gives you a wonderful, wonderful compromise, which is ultimately what suspension's all about. Um, Honda have set this up to give you a very, very comfortable ride but not one that means you lose a lot of body control through the corners because it, it flows through corners very nicely unless you're driving like an utter lunatic. Um, so many SUVs, when they go to the corners, they can pitch and wallow and move about, which a driver can cope with because you're looking ahead and you can, you're anticipating what's going to happen. But people in the back who may have their head in a book or a phone or something, um, it can be a particularly nauseating experience, but this is absolutely superb. I mean, Honda should know. I mean, the CRV is the best-selling SUV in the world, so there's a good reason for that. Uh, just give the brakes a bit of a shove because we've got to stop here or turn around here, but give them a nice hard shove. Nice, powerful brake pedal on the car. Um, what I'm looking for is that they should bite well, which they clearly do, but also that they don't exhibit any kind of pulsing or vibrations, and there are none at all coming back through the pedal, all in um, perfect order there. Coming inside the car, first and foremost, we've not cleaned the car yet, so this is, I mean, it is incredibly clean in here, I have to say. Um, they are also brilliantly, brilliantly made cars, uh, set in all the CRV videos, because they pretty much all are. Um, and this, as I say, is real build quality in the real world. You know, a few years down the road with a few tens of thousands of miles on the clock, um, and it exhibits absolutely no squeaks or rattles at all. It's uh, beautifully, beautifully manufactured. Um, it's also very, very nice and simple and easy to use. You can see sat-nav working absolutely perfectly. You've got a dual zone climate control system, which gives you the opportunity to give you different temperatures side to side, if you so wish. Air conditioning, we check in a nice warm workshop, pumps out lovely and cold, by the way. Um, switch gear, it's got that lovely rubbery click-click precision to it. Honda put a lot of effort into ensuring that the switch gear that you're going to touch most commonly will feel really good to hand and they've done a lovely job with it and it will last a long time 
um, unlike some others. Um, dash in front is simplicity itself, all the information you need, nicely presented and no more, which is perfect. Steering wheel, nice and small in diameter, feels great in hand, obviously it's leather bound, uh, feels like new to hold as well. You've got cruise control, which all works perfectly, auto lights, auto wipers, all functioning exactly as they should. As I said at the start of the video, it's only brief, um, but it literally is just to show the car in operation, but to feedback on any issues that might be with the car, um, that are none at all. It genuinely drives as tight as a drum. It feels as close to new to drive as you could realistically expect any used car to feel. Um, we've been selling Hondas now for a long, long time. I used to work at the Honda main dealer, so we know these very well indeed. It shows how old I am because I was actually at the launch of the original Honda CRV back in sort of the mid to late 90s. Um, and we've sold thousands of them, so you know we know what to look for. And this is a particularly tight example, it really, really drives beautifully. Uh, as always, though, if you've got any questions about the car, don't hesitate, do give us a call.